So thank you everyone for joining us on this video session. Um, my name is Edward Fenton and I'm the Application and Risk Security Specialist at Bytes. Um, so I'm one of the subject matter experts within the Bytes security team. And one of the areas that I look after is vulnerability management. So during today's session, we're going to be talking about vulnerability management, some of the challenges that we're facing, and potentially some of the things that we can do within the future to build upon those and build a better security posture. I'm actually delighted to invite a special guest onto this call. Um, it's Bernard. Um, Bernard is from Tenable. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Bernard now to introduce himself quite quickly and tell us a bit about Tenable. Okay, so thank you very much. So I'm Bernard Montel. I'm the technical director and security strategist um, for Tenable in EMEA. Um, I've been in cybersecurity for the past roughly 20 years um, with different organizations, but uh, all in all around, uh, you know, identity and access management, uh, SOC, and, and today um, with Tenable at, um, you know, around the, the core vulnerability management, um, obviously. Exactly. So what would you say some of the challenges that we're seeing around vulnerability management and, and what sort of can businesses do to adapt to these challenges? So, I mean, Tenable is coming really from, um, you know, if you, if you look backward uh, a long time ago, uh, what we were calling uh, vulnerability scanners. So we were taking a snapshot of a specific uh, software or, or, or technology uh, to find out if there is any potential software vulnerability. The entire industry know that uh, we call that a CVE, and and everyone is sharing that into databases we 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 use, and so Tenable is really coming from that space with Nessus as a technology that has been created a long time ago. Um, we we moved to a space where we have to handle more and more and more, you know, vulnerabilities because that's that's exactly how that evolved. Uh, during during uh, you know the evolution of the of the vulnerabilities to something called risk based vulnerability management. Uh, I think it it sounds um, you know with a risk based approach we have to reduce the scope to focus only on what is important. Um, if your question is what about today um, the attack surface, which is also a terminology we used to use a lot, um, has uh, literally been fragmented. Uh, we don't have any perimeter anymore. Uh, we use, you know, IT from everywhere. And that's one of the big challenge that we've seen really growing for the past two years, but that began roughly five years ago. Sure. And so where do we think the biggest challenges from this biggest shift? Is it remote users? Is it the movement to the cloud? Where do we think the biggest challenge is going to sit? So um, we, we see a lot of use cases. So remote workers is really one, uh, which is a brand new one that uh, organizations has to really manage for the past two years. So that is really brand new. I mean, the majority of the organization had already before a pandemic um, remote workers, like it were sometimes 5%, 10%, but they moved to almost sometimes 100% during the lockdown. So that is really one of the main use cases uh, today. Okay, so what does it mean? Uh, that means that everyone is using home network, and we don't use sometimes the corporate network anymore. So what we've put it in place for the past again twenty years with all those layers and all those security devices and all the security controls protecting the corporate network is not used anymore. So the, the home network is really a place where there is a lot of vulnerabilities that can be used by attackers. Um, if we drill down on this subject, we have plenty of examples of, for example, ransomwares that has raised um, after the first lockdown, you know, roughly around August 2020, was a huge amount of ransomwares targeting uh, personal devices from home. So that is really one. Um, the cloud, if, then, then the companies and the organization has to also to deploy cloud applications for the for the for the remote workers very very quickly. So the cloud was an evolution, but the evolution was quite solid but mm -hmm. slow. And then suddenly they have to to put in place new applications. They have to decide that business critical applications needed to be put it in a cloud in amounts sometimes. 
So, and that also representing an important um, new um, threats or set of vulnerabilities uh, that are, you know, existing um, that are there for, for now many, many months. And the companies and organization will not go back. So they are now have moved to the cloud. So they have to sit and, and using it. So in terms of, it's obviously everyone's moving to the cloud. It's, it's big, a big change within the environment. What can a vulnerability management tool to do to help that? Because we're not, they're not on the network. So how are we getting visibility of what vulnerabilities are on their devices or on those applications? So has, has these attacks surface has moved as well? We, we you know, um, Tenable, for example, as, as, as also adapt, you know, we need to be able to follow where um, the vulnerabilities are. So in the cloud, for example, um, we, we were already covering what we are calling the runtime. You know, if you put, for example, an application in the cloud, it is now running into um, a, do a docker or container yeah. as a microservices. So that is also brand new. If we compare to 10 years ago, where we only had machines, yeah. uh, we moved from physical machines. You know, when I began, when we deployed an application, it took roughly between six and eight months. You know, we needed to order machines. We needed to you know, put those big racks and then having one machine for the database, one machine for the router and, and, and so on. So that was like a, a project. And I remember, you know, we had a kind of a project team and it took, you know, when it was super, super fast,